Right, so uh, I often make the case in the paper that for the U.S.-India relationship to grow, that we need to identify leapfrog technologies, uh, much the way that uh, the IT uh, revolution in the 1990s was really a jump uh, in terms of the development paradigm and boosted U.S.-India trade and created a lot of impact in India. Similarly, what are those next basket of technologies where uh, the United States provides the innovation uh, and the, uh, the products and services and India provides not just the market but the ability to tweak that innovation for the Indian context. One good example is uh, actually next generation farming where uh, India needs to increase its yield uh, by 70 percent um, and that is a huge number uh, to increase by 2050 uh, in order to feed its population. So we had the green revolution once, uh, we're going to need another green revolution and so how do we think about um, land use, how do we think about uh, uh, land use both in terms of the uh, crops planted but also the physical use of airspace and land and water and irrigation, how do we think about new crops that are uh, with withstand disease better, uh, how do we think about uh, the use of byproducts for uh, fuels, how do we think about irrigation systems and, and those sorts of things. So uh, what are the next generation of technologies that will allow Indian farmers to yield much, much greater uh, uh, crops uh, and solve problems not just of hunger but uh, create economic value in India.